If you don't acknowledge the presence of God, if you don't understand the intimacy that God wants to have with you, you don't understand how important it is for you to intentionally develop a relationship with the Spirit of God through His Word, that there are some integrities, there are some contents of His secret place that you will never experience. The Bible is very clear right here. It says in Psalm 91 verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, the Most High, the El Elyon nature of God. He shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, El Shaddai, the Almighty. And the next verse says, I will say unto the Lord, Jehovah. And then he goes on to say, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, Elyon, El Elyon, the God who owns everything, the God who possesses heaven and earth. In this hiding place, in this intimate relationship of ours, we find the revelation of God as provider. We find, him, we find the revelation of him as possessor of all things. We find him as the one who has a heart for us. His desire for us is a heartfelt desire. We learn that in this secret place, we have to trust in the Lord, in the living God, not a dead memory, but a living God who gives us all things to enjoy. We learn in the secret place that he will withhold no good thing. El Elyon knows what you have need of. And this El Elyon will give you the desires of your heart. So we see the almighty God. You discover him more and more in the secret place. When we dwell there, when we are continually in contact with the Lord, our God. Now look, this does not mean that you are at work um, reciting scripture instead of paying attention to the conference that you're involved in. What this means is that you have an understanding of the presence of God and understand that not only are you not leaving him, but he has made you a guarantee that he'll never leave you nor will he forsake you. You've got to remember that no matter what your circumstance, he is the El Shaddai. He's the almighty provider. But also to provide, he must possess everything. So this living and giving God that in this secret place, he will provide all your needs. He has made us kings and priests unto him. In other words, you've got leverage in the kingdom once you start to dwell in the secret place. We can't make the mistake of uh, treating God situationally. You know, God, stay out of my business when I want to do my thing. But if I get into a crisis or a situation I can't solve, then I want you to move in. That's not how it works. God does not want a pubescent relationship with us. He does not want us situationally believing in him, but conducting ourselves as though we're intimately aware of the relationship and the fellowship that we have with him moment by moment, day by day.